So in this video, we're going to be learning how to create the user's profiles. So to do that, we need to create a new page and that page is going to be called profile.php. So now that we've created profile.php, we want to go to index.php and copy and paste that. And that's going to be our template. So we just want to create a header first. And we're just going to set profile. Then what we want to do up here is we want to check if the username parameter has been passed to the profile. And we do that by checking get username. So we want to check that against a value in the database. So we're going to do a query. So here we've done a query that selects the username from the table of users. And if that query returns true, we find the yeah user. And if it returns false, we haven't found them. So what we want to do is if it's true, we have find the valid user. Otherwise, die. We want to say user not found. And if the user is found, we want to set a variable called username equal to, and then we're just going to go to this query once more and we're going to extract the username. Go to the zeroth item of the array that's returned and then go to the username field. And then up here, we want to just declare username as an empty string to begin with. And we're going to actually just get rid of this login check. So now that we know the value of username, what we want to do is use PHP tags to echo out username. And then we're going to say username's profile. And before this will work, what we need to do is change this from username to get username. And then that way we're getting the username out of the get variable. And now we're going to try this and see does it work. So you can see now we're on the profile. We haven't provided it with a parameter. So we just get told this is someone's profile, but it's obviously not. So here we are on the profile page. And what we're going to do is put in username equals Francis. And you can see it says Francis's profile. If I put in a username that is invalid, it says user not found. So we're going to display a list of the user's followers on their profile, just like on Twitter. So we need to create a new database table to handle that. It's going to be called followers. And we want to create a row called user underscore ID. It's going to be an int. And then we want to also create one called follower ID. And that's also going to be an int and they're both going to be unsigned. And we don't want either of them to be null. So now we want to go back to our profile page and we want to create a follow button. So down here what we'll do is we'll create a form. So here's our form, and if we refresh, you can see now there's a follow button. So when we click follow, we want to insert a row into the database. So down here, below username, what I want to do is check if the form has been submitted. And if the form has been submitted, what I want to do is first to check if the user is already following that user. So we're going to run another query. So if the user's already following that user, we don't want to let them follow them again. And then if we negate this, we can do it so that if they are not following that user, then we want to follow them. So then we'll run another query. So here we're going to create the actual follow in the database. And we need to get the user ID and the follower ID. And we also need to add on our parameters to this query. So here we want to get the user ID first and then the follower ID. So our user ID is going to be equal to and then as usual since we want to retrieve a value we want to get the zeroth index and then we want to get the ID field. So there we have our user ID. And then our follower ID is actually easier to get. All we have to do is say follower ID equals like that. So here what we're doing is we're selecting the user ID from users depending on the username that's provided to the profile page. So in this case, it'll be Francis. And that's going to be our user ID. And our follower ID is the ID of the user that's logged in. Else we can say echo already following. So let's see, does this work? 
So I logged in as a different user. If I go to users, you can see I created another account called HowCode and I'm logged in as HowCode. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click follow. We didn't get any output, but if I go to followers, we have two rows. We have the user ID, which is the user whose profile this is, which is Francis, and then we have the follower ID, which is HowCode. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and click follow again. And now you can see it says already following. So there's a couple of things we need to do to tidy this up. So to tidy this up, we need to create an unfollow button and we need to create a way to stop users following themselves. So at the minute I can go to the how code profile page and I can click follow. And if I refresh, you can see now we have someone who's following themselves and obviously we don't want that to happen. So in the next part, we'll be covering that and we'll be covering the unfollow button. But that's it for this video. Don't forget to like, comment, favorite and subscribe. Don't forget to follow us on Facebook and Twitter. We also have a subreddit now. It's slash r slash how code. But that's it for this video. Don't forget to like, comment, favorite and subscribe and I'll see you next time.